As I continue my studies as a future pest control advisor, I'm amazed at the physical and economical damage caused by non-native species. Dating back to 1542 when the first settlers traveled north from South America and in 1565 when the European settlers brought crops on their voyages, non-native plants have played a major role in American history. In the history of the United States, approximately 50,000 alien invasive species are estimated to have been introduced into the United States. Introduced species such as corn, wheat, rice, and other food crops, along with cattle, poultry, and other livestock, now provide more than 98% of the U.S. food systems at a value of approximately $800 billion per year. Other exotic species have been used for landscape restoration, biological pest control, sports, pets, and food processing. Some non-indigenous species, however, have caused major economic losses in agriculture, forestry, and several other segments of the U.S. economy, in addition to harming the environment. One recent study reported approximately $97 billion in damages from 79 exotic species. Recently, we had a new exotic pest enter California, probably through Mexico, and it's called the Asian citrus psyllid. But it happens to carry a devastating bacterial disease that we call Fong Long Bing, which is a death sentence for citrus trees. And that particular disease is now found in Florida and Mexico, and it could easily move here as well. So we're massing all the researchers together to come up with solutions nationwide. In crop systems, an estimated 500 introduced plant species have become weed pests. Most of these weeds were accidentally introduced from infected crop seeds, ship ballast, foreign soil, or various imported plant materials. In U.S. agriculture, weeds cause a reduction of 12% in crop yields. In economic terms, this represents about $33 billion in lost crop production. The total cost of introduced weeds to the U.S. economy is about $27 billion. According to the Interior Secretary Bruce Babbitt, ranchers spend about $5 billion each year to control invasive alien weeds in pastures and rangelands, yet these weeds continue to spread. Each year, pest insects destroy about 13% of potential crop production, representing a value of about $33 billion in U.S. crops. In addition, about $1.2 billion in pesticides are applied for all insect control. The portion applied against introduced pest insects is approximately $500 million. Therefore, introduced invasive insect pests cost roughly $13.5 billion each year. There are an estimated 50,000 parasitic and non-parasitic diseases of plants in the United States, and most of these are of the fungi species. In addition, there are more than 1,300 species of viruses that are plant pests in the United States. Many of these microbes were introduced inadvertently with seeds and other parts of host plants and have become a major problem for production. U.S. crop losses to all plant pathogens total approximately $33 billion each year. Considering more than 65% of plant pathogens in the United States are exotic, the damage costs and control of alien invasive plant pathogens totals about $21.5 billion. With expenses soaring over $70 billion, government policy is needed to help decrease the losses. The NICS, along with at least 20 other federal agencies, assist in implementing policies, preventative, and control methods. The USDA plays the largest part in managing over 30% of the nation's land. According to the Bureau of Land Management, noxious weeds are expanding at 2,300 acres per day. That is 14% each year. Unfortunately, with most states, there's not enough funding to properly enforce policies. 
so most laws are weak and inadequately implemented. It is proposed that the lack of communication between state and federal government is the cause for some of these failures. Boundaries have been put up around the nation to stop any foreign bodies from moving across the border freely. This helps lessen the new introduction of exotic pests and diseases. U.S. Customs and Border Protection is in charge of processing the imports into the United States. At every U.S. port of entry, the Homeland Security Agency is responsible for intercepting into the United States prohibited plant and animal material and products. California Department of Food and Agriculture performed parallel inspections at 16 interstate border protection stations. In 2000, the federal government spent $1.8 million on detection and exclusion of pests and diseases affecting livestock and poultry. Unfortunately, there never seems to be one solution to please everyone. Still, proactive examination policies help minimize long-term costs associated with exotic pests and diseases. Benefits of these policies and implementations far exceed the budget control programs. Outbreaks of these diseases and pests harm the markets and greatly affect the economy. Every year, billions of dollars are thrown away to recover damage caused by pests. So plans need to be made and executed in order to prevent the spread of any more pests.